Hey there, Todd with Industrial Comfort. So if you've seen any of my videos, chances are you know I love to work with wood. I also really love to fish. So I thought, why not combine my two passions and make fishing lures? Look how well these came out. So these lures were specifically made for surf casting for bluefish and striped bass. And what's really cool is that they're easy to make, you're really going to enjoy making them, and you'll get it done for a fraction of what it would cost you to buy these lures in the store. So let me show you how I got this done. I've gone ahead and put a drill chuck onto the tailstock, which we're going to use to bore a hole into this blank. Now the drill bit is an eighth of an inch and it's six inches long. Unfortunately, this blank is probably about eight inches long, so we're going to have to drill as far as we can, then we're going to flip the blank around and then drill from the other end, which is kind of a pain. So if you can get hold of a longer bit, minimum eight inches, I'd probably recommend that. I'm going to mark out five and a half inches, which is the length that I want the body of the lure to be. I've passed the wire that I mentioned earlier through the body of the lure and I've slightly bent it on the end. What I'm going to do now is dip it into some deck stain and I'm doing this and I want to get it thoroughly covered so I don't have that much in here so I'm just tipping the, uh, the can. We want to do this in an effort to make sure that the wood is sealed because this is going to be a saltwater lure. Um, what I'm going to do is sort of let it um, drip off and once it's uh, once the dripping has slowed down I'm going to go ahead and hang it on this rod over here which is over a tin foil um, pan and I'm going to let it dry out for about 24 hours or so. We'll be back. The stain on these lure bodies has had a couple of days to dry, so I'm going to hit it with some of this paint and move on to the next step. The paint on the lure bodies here has dried, so I'm going to use the components in front of me, which I'll discuss in a minute, to assemble the lures. As we assemble the lures, we're going to be using the following components. We have a through wire with a formed loop at the top. This is going to be the attachment point for your leader or line. We're then going to pass this through the lure and we're going to create another loop at the end to attach the hook. Um, obviously we have the hooks, we've got some eyes that we're going to attach to the lure, we have some weights that we're going to insert which will get us to about two and a half ounces on the lure, and then we have these grommets for the head and the tail, and the purpose is to prevent wear and tear against the wood which is a softer material, or even plastic or epoxy for that matter, uh, just protects the lure um, as there's strain against the wire uh, held in place between the, um, the line and the hook. Now that we know the components that go into these lures, I want to give a quick shout out to Elliot Thomas, who's the owner of 247lures.com. I want to be very clear, he did not pay me, he is not a sponsor of mine, I paid for these lure components, but he was incredibly helpful and kind in guiding me through the appropriate components I would need as a first time lure builder 
to assemble these saltwater lures. The site is really easy to use. There isn't an overabundance of components to choose from, which makes the process that much easier for saltwater lure builders. I'd recommend giving them a look. Again, it's 247lures.com, and I'll put the web address down in the description. The first thing we're going to do is slide the through wire through the head or the nose grommet. We're going to pinch the wire through like this. We are then going to slide the wire through the lure body and insert the head of the nose grommet into the head of the lure. We are then going to slide one of these weights on, followed by the tail grommet. And we're going to push this into place. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and create the loop. I'll do the same thing for this lure. Forgot to put on the eyes. So we're going to take these stickers and we'll just put them in place like that. One on each side. We're going to take the through wire and we're going to bend it at about a 45 degree angle. It's like that. We're now going to wrap it around this 3 16 inch piece of rod. We're going to just loop it around like this. And I'm going to use the pliers to really cinch it to get it nice and round. So give us this loop, which I'm going to then crimp together. I'm going to put a vice grip on this and then I'll wrap the line. I'm going to put the vice grip on the end like this and then I'm going to wrap the wire around two or three times. Sorry, this is some residual epoxy on the line which I'll wipe off in a sec. I'm then going to cut the wire and I will pull it in with this needle nose pliers. And this is what it will look like after you've finished. The final step before putting the hooks on these lure bodies is to provide for the final clear coat. Now a lot of people use epoxy, but as a first time lure builder, I don't have the machine that spins the lures to provide for an even coat. So I've read in the forums a lot of people use concrete sealer and the dip method, which is a pretty foolproof method for providing a clear coat on your lure. So I'm going to do that with this concrete uh, sealer. It's called Dry Lock. Um, haven't read anything about it, haven't used it, but it provides waterproof, high shine protection. So I'm going to probably dip it two or three times over the next day or two, and we'll see how it comes out. So I'm simply going to dip the lure all the way in. Once this drips off, I'm going to hang it up here let it dry, I'll do the same thing with this one. The top coat on the lures has had time to dry, so the final step is just putting on the hook. So we're just going to loop it through the end loop, take a pair of pliers, and we're just going to crimp the loop closed. And that's it. We are done. And this ended up really nicely. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.